I'd say the, the three, there's a lot more than three, but just because three is an easy number. Life-changing situations for me where, where I heard songs and it completely shifted my perspective on music. And this is before I was playing this. This is long before, but uh, John Prine, I think, is one of the greatest songwriters ever because he was able to have this depth to his humor where everything he was talking about was so real and so depressing. I was born unkind. But you just couldn't help but laugh because it was funny. He was able to twist these terrible situations into, you know, it's just, that's how it is. I, I loved Leonard Cohen because that was a whole realization to where things didn't have to sound flawless to have meaning. Things could, like you could feel music more than understand it. And I think a lot of his songs were kind of that same depth that, that Prine has, just not so much, it wasn't only in the lyrical sense, it was a lot of uh, perfect imperfection. It was all the flaws in the songs are the best parts of them, and they made everything sound so much worse in a good way, like so much darker. And that's when I realized that things didn't have to be crazy or technical or perfect to sound awesome. Um, it was it was purpose, and that was nuts. And then uh, and then Tom Waits. Tom Waits. These three are, are influences outside of, of other realms of music that I loved listening to. These are just three that I remember listening to these people going, all right, well, that's something else. That's something beyond what I know. And it's nice to learn how much is out there that you don't know. I think it's awesome to but the blood in the water. just to realize that everything that you thought the was the, the bubble that you're comfortable in, just it, you shake it loose and all the pieces kind of fall apart and then you get to build it back up with a whole new design, and a whole new bank of knowledge and that's what Tom Waits was for me. And obviously all of these people did it to, to a lot of musicians. As obvious as they seem, they really were just foundations. Huge foundations to, to realize, no, it can be weird, it's okay. Losing is fine.